Well, thank you, Sean, and thank you so much for your ongoing support. We're now going to be hearing um, from our seven children who are aged from nine to 12. First up, we have Jordan Fulgaro from Telethon Speech and Hearing in Perth. Jordan. To be or not to be, is that even a question? Hello, my name is Jordan Vergara. I live in Perth, Western Australia. I am in Year 6 at Mount Rio Catholic Primary School in Atterdale. I live with my parents, my beautiful bossy sister Leah, and my annoyingly cute little brother Joshua. <laughs> and with my pet Dylan, I meet your sausage girl. Oh, he's so cute. Even the girls from the high school across the road think so. He's my instant chick magnet. <laughs> this is my last year at primary school. Next year, I'll embark on learning the skills required to enter university and then hopefully the workforce. This brings me to a question that repeatedly keeps coming my way these days. Jordan, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do I want to be? Hang on a minute, after I'm only 11. Still, being asked all the time got me thinking. You see, silly me have fooled myself into believing the rest of my life would be devoted to a never ending series of video games. <laughs> but now I'm not so sure. I decided that this question requires further investigation, if only to see where the video games will fit in. And well, after all, it's my future we are talking about. Maybe I can become an astronaut. No, every kid wants to become one. How about an accountant, whatever that is, a brick player, no, a video game tester. Now that's more like it. <laughs> hey, I'm starting to like some thinking. <coughs> hey, I'm starting to like thinking about the future. But something told me I wasn't going deep enough with this. So I started talking about it with my dad, family. Dad, what did you want to be when you grew up? Answer. I wanted to be a bunch of things, a drama, fireman, movie star, but you know what son, some days I still don't know what I want to be. Thanks dad, no problem there. <laughs> Mum, tell me about what you dreamed of doing when you grew up. Answer. I wanted to be a hairdresser, which is exactly what I became, and I hated it. <laughs> I'd much rather have to, to become a famous model or an actress like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> or skip all that. I just wanted to be rich. Oh, and do a bunch of good things and make the world a better place. Hmm, make the world a better place. Now we're getting somewhere. I knew Mum would have the answer. Mum's always do. <laughs> However, I was still without any clear direction until a very short time ago. Actually, the idea came to me after I learnt I was coming to Canberra. What if I was Prime Minister of Australia? <laughs> yeah, baby, Prime Minister Jordan Fugaro. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? As Prime Minister of Australia, my most important job would to help Australia to become an even better place for all Australians. I will help the people who I need, like the poor, the sick and the elderly. I also will help stop illegal drugs getting into Australia with my CEDIA policy. CEDIA stands for Stop Illegal Drugs in Australia. I bet we'll catch every illegal drug printable. I will also help Australia to become a green place. Remember to recycle and don't throw junk in the sea. I'll make everybody smart and prove that anything is possible because I'll be the first Prime Minister in the world has bionic ears. 
<laughs> they say politicians never really listen. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I say a hard of hearing person listens best because they know how precious it is to be able to hear in the first place. As future Prime Minister of Australia, I have a lot more policies planned. I just have to figure out what they are first. <laughs> but you'll have to wait till I launch my election campaign sometime around the year 2040. <laughs> wow, 2040, that's quite some time away. I guess I still have time to play a few video games after. <laughs> Thank you for listening to us. <laughs>